This is the actual tip-up stand that connected on, and it's got that trigger system. I'm gonna take my tip-up rod that's got a drop shot rig on it, my bait cloud, I'm gonna drop this into the water so that the bubbles attract the fish in the scent that's released underwater, and I'm gonna set it up with my minnows right over here. So what I'm gonna do here is just make a bit of a base for the stand, and one thing that I'm gonna also try to do is make sure that the stand is the right distance away. So that's a good distance. You can see the rod tip's gonna be right there. Now, watch this. I'm gonna release the line down until it hits the bottom. Should be about eight to 10 feet here. Now I'm doing that so that I don't have a minnow on there swimming around. So that's on bottom. So you see the tipping jig has this really nice system here, the hook. You can see this is perfect. So what I'm gonna do now is take one of these bait cloud balls. This is actually the tournament one. So it's got flake in it. And all this is is gonna release air bubbles, which will make a nice column and create a lot of noise underwater. And it also is infused with organic fish oil. So as soon as I drop this into the water, it's gonna start releasing the bubbles. So I can see them already as it's falling. So this is kind of nice because it's gonna attract the fish to me. So I've got all the holes all around me. And when that fish scent actually disperses, so it's not baiting, it's just uh, creating actually a bait cloud to get those fish to come in. And pike like small fish. Now, if you look in the hole, you can see these are actually, or it's organic. You can see the little um, flake. It's uh, like sparkle and it looks like fish scales and you can see the throffing, the bubbles coming up. That's gonna last for about 10 minutes. But while that's happening, I'm gonna put a bait fish on. So I'm gonna take my minnow and I'm gonna hook him just behind the head without going through the spine. I want him to be nice and lively. And pike like to take a bait fish head first. So I wanna make sure my line isn't tangled up. And we should see, look at, you can see how lively this guy is. Now that I've got my line down, what I'm gonna do is actually set up the trigger system for the flag. Now you'll see here that there's an actual hook mechanism, okay? So this is a feature so that it can actually sit in this cradle and I have the line over it or underneath it. So I'm gonna put that in there and this is the actual trigger system right here. See the little knob? I'm gonna put the line around it and I'm gonna put the flag behind it. And I'll show you in a minute how it works. So when a fish, when a fish comes to grab the line, let's say I'm gonna put some tension on it, watch that trigger system. See the flag pops up. Now let's say a fish is bigger. It can actually pull the rod down and if it's really big, it'll actually pull the rod and engage the drag and the hooks actually stop the rod from going down. 